IT notice despite the matter being settled. This as Congress protests in the national capital against back-to-back -back notices. The Gen Next exodus from the Congress ex-Home Minister's daughter-in-law joins the BJP. The Goa police finally acts in the footballer's assault case. Two footballers allegedly thrashed by a team official. The team official was in a drunken state allegedly, but the Football Federation is yet to take action. The Enforcement Directorate summons Delhi Minister days after the Chief Minister's arrest. Delhi Home Minister Kailash Gehloth is summoned by the agency. It's a fourth top Ahmadi Party leader on the ED radar now in the liquor policy case. India awards its greats. President confers Bharat Ratna, LK Advani, Karpuri Thakur, Chaudhary Charan Singh and MS Swaminathan among the awardees. Our lead story this afternoon, well, an FIR has been lodged against KT Ramarao, ex-Chief Minister KCR's son. And this FIR, interestingly, has been filed by a Congress worker, a Congress leader in Karnataka and in Telangana, I beg your pardon. And the FIR says that KT Ramarao made derogatory remarks against Chief Minister Revant Reddy. In fact, the FIR goes on to say, uh, based on the Congress worker's allegation, that KT Ramarao alleged that Revant Reddy took kickbacks worth 2500 crore rupees. These are misleading claims according to the Congress worker in the FIR and the FIR also says that these are derogatory remarks against the Chief Minister right ahead of the Lok Sabha polls. In fact, according to the FIR, KT Ramarao also said that Revant Reddy is set to join the BJP after Lok Sabha polls and that these are misleading claims which would uh, mislead the people of Telangana. And moving now to the other big headline, uh, two more notices from the Income Tax Department to the already beleaguered Congress Party. So multiple back-to-back -back tax notices to the Congress Party in the poll season. This comes just a day after the Congress received an 1,800 crore rupee income tax notice. And now these are visuals from the national capital of youth Congress workers protesting. In fact, they jumped barricades. They're holding uh, placards there. Uh, these protests are being held against the central government. This after the Congress alleged that this is tax terrorism that is being done at the behest of the central government. In fact, this also comes after the Congress received a setback from the High Court, which dismissed its petition against tax reassessment. In fact, senior leader of the party and Karnataka's deputy chief minister, D.K. Shivkumar, has said that he has also received a tax notice despite the matter being settled. Take a look at what the Congress party leaders had to say. Congress party ko nishana banaya gaya hai, khas tor se. और हमें बार बार कल रात को भी दो और नोटिस मिले हमें कल जब हम प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस कर रहे थे तब तक चार नोटिस हमें मिले थे कल रात को दो और नोटिस मिले हैं और आज मैं नहीं जानता हूं और कितने नोटिस आएंगे क्योंकि अब तक अभी तक केसरी जी के जमाने तक ही नोटिस आए हैं वही दे आर टारगेटिंग द अपोजिशन दैट मींस इट शोज दैट they are afraid of the Congress party, they are afraid of India alliance and India alliance is going to defeat uh, the NDA. This is the uh, weakness what uh, the BJP has understood that they will lose the election. So they are uh, trying to create all type of uh, fear including me also. Yesterday night I got a notice from the income tax with, uh, which has already been the settled matter. Even you got a ah, yes, including also myself. I was shocked. In fact, sources have now told NDTV that the onus is on the Congress party because they received multiple opportunities to reply to the Income Tax Department and file their returns, but they chose not to. My colleague Vasudha Venugopal has these details. Although the, you know, the allegations that have been raised by the Congress party of tax terrorism going on in the country are very serious, uh, the government is quite aggressive and centre is very aggressive and it's very, uh, uh, you know, defiant and clear on one front that, you know, these uh, uh, summons and these uh, notices have been sent because the Congress party has been violating Section 13A of the Income Tax Act, which basically, you know, uh, 
allows the exemption to uh, you know uh, pay taxes when it comes to political parties what the government people and what sources involved in this matter are, have been telling us is that is that the gov uh, that the congress party has of course you know approached the delhi high court but its own writ petitions have been dismissed by the court twice and the court itself actually made very serious uh, observations that the party had approached them only uh, towards the end of the deadline and there was an escapement of income of over 520 crore and there was no reason for the court to actually you know allow an an indictment of sorts at that stage in fact uh, uh, you know the government's response also talks about this it80s uh, you know sort of response uh, uh, to the congress's uh, writ petition and appeal uh, when uh, the party failed to get any reprieve uh, from the high court and uh, it's very interesting here because while the allegations of the congress party has raised are very serious in nature uh, the income tax department and the finance ministry and government sources and sources who have been involved in this matter are very clear that it is um, you know political parties have an exemption to uh, when it comes to filing taxes uh, but they also have to file returns and this is violation uh, from the congress party uh, congress party itself and then uh, there has been a thorough assessment of its replies to the court and you know that scrutiny has happened and the party has been given multiple chances ample opportunities to reply which is after which you know this whole action has been taken place and uh, also the uh, department has basically made it clear that evidence was also shared uh, with the tax pay with uh, you know with the assessment was done so the party in some ways cannot claim that it was not in know of the matter and then you know all of this came as a shock uh, to the party so uh, it's clear that the government is playing it very aggressively here making it about rules and rules that cannot be flouted uh, for the principal opposition party and moving now uh, to more news from maharashtra archana patel uh, has, the daughter in law of senior congress leader and former union minister uh, shivraj patel has officially joined the bjp in the presence of the maharashtra deputy chief minister devendra fadnavis and state president chandrashekhar banbankule uh, the decision came after she met deputy chief minister fadnavis yesterday and i remember she is the latest in a series of leaders uh, who have quit the congress party and joined the bjp particularly young leaders and gen next leaders of course in maharashtra itself you have have a tall leader like Milind Deora uh, who co contested from Mumbai he jumped ship right ahead of polls uh, and you also have leaders like Jyotiraditya Sindhya and of course RP and Singh so the congress is gen next now jumping ship joining the BJP right ahead of the polls take a look and Archana Patel is among the many leaders that uh, have as in fact joined BJP in fact today she joined uh, Uh, the party the bjp in the presence of devendra fadnavis as well as the uh, state bjp president chandrashekhar baunkule in fact uh, she's uh, joining us on ndtv at this point uh, uh, thank you for speaking to ndtv my first thank question you. of course uh, you are from a congress family uh, you are the daughter in law of a congress a veteran congress leader so what really made you make this shift uh, what is the reason behind you wanting joining the bjp uh, well radhika i have not made any shift let me clarify that because this is my first political stint i was not part of any political uh, position or i have not acquired any political uh, election or anything before this i was working in a social sector so this is actually the beginning but you were you were part of or you still part of a legacy family that represents congress in a way well i am part of a congress i am part of the congress family and i'm very proud of it but today i have joined taken this decision in my own independent ca capacity i i think whosoever is looking for good opportunities to work i felt i could get a good opportunity to be part of this nation building and i took this chance what drove you to this though uh, well uh, it's been quite some time that you know there was lot of discussion around that but for me the defining moment was the women's reservation bill there i thought you know 50% of this country the women have no voice no representation they are not part of any policy making there is the num percentage is declining at every lok sabha so i was as a social activist i used to feel sad about it but when this came i thought okay lev equal level field cutting across caste creed religion so that was my defining moment all right uh, uh, and also you are obviously as as we mentioned before you're part of a congress family it could have been easier for you to join congress party but you chose to join the bjp so something must be uh, you know wrong with the party that a lot of y'all especially second generation leaders are uh, you know sort of shifting tracks to the bjp so is this a, is it a lack of focus is it uh, you know lack of vision within congress what is 
wrong with the Congress party that you've uh, made this decision? Well, I am too small and too new player in this game, so I have no authority to speak about the merits or demerits. Mm -hmm. But in my own capacity, I would like to say that this definitely is offering few opportunities. Mm -hmm. And whosoever wants to work, we always look for opportunities. So I think that's what is the crux. about the Congress party that you'd like to speak about since Not you at all. no comments and honestly I have no authority to talk about it. All right. All right. There you heard uh, uh, Arjuna Patil in fact uh, going ahead and saying that sh this is her first political s stint. She may be coming from a Congress family. However, uh, she is impressed with the work that the BJP has done over the last several years. The work of Prime Minister Modi. Women's reservation bill is uh, something that uh, uh, sort of impressed her which is what made her join uh, BJP is what she's been claiming uh, nothing really uh, about the Congress party she didn't say much about uh, her thoughts on the party or its current state at this point but yes another one of the second generation leaders who have uh, gone ahead and left Congress party to join the BJP Archana Patil being the latest one and moving to more news now, well, the Enforcement Directorate has summoned Kailash Gehloth, who is a Delhi Home Minister, in connection with the liquor policy case. Uh, there's also a charge of witness manipulation against him. Remember, he is the fourth to top Ahmadi Party leader to have been uh, summoned by the Enforcement Directorate and to be on the ED radar. And this comes just days after Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal's arrest. Remember, the Enforcement Directorate in court had said that they plan to confront Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal with other Ahmadi Party leaders, several leaders from Goa were also summoned earlier this week. In fact, now, Kailash Gehloth, who's seen as number two of Arvind Kejriwal, being summoned by the Enforcement Directorate. Listen in to what Amadi Party leader and Minister Saurabh Bharadwaj had to say. What would you like to say on this edge? Magunta Srinivasulu Riddhi ki teen statements li gai, jis mein se do statements mein unho ne Arvind ji ke vishay mein koi aisi baat nahi kai, jis se aparad ke vishay mein koi bhi jankari hoti ho, ya uski taraf ishara bhi hota ho, तीसरी स्टेटमेंट उनके खिलाफ उन्होंने दी उनके बेटे राघव की सात स्टेटमेंट्स रिकॉर्ड हुई हैं सात उसी एजेंसी ने सात बार उनकी गवाही ली छह स्टेटमेंट्स में वो कोई ऐसी बात नहीं कहता वो वही बात रिपीट करता है जो अरविंद केजरीवाल कह रहे हैं कि मेरे पिता जमीन के काम से अरविंद केजरीवाल से मिले मगर जब सातवीं स्टेटमेंट में वह अरविंद केजरीवाल को इंडाइट करता है तो उनकी बेल हो जाती है और उनको सरकारी गवाह बना लिया जाता है and a senior colleague Mukesh Singer is now joining us live. So Mukesh, ये ED ने court में भी बोला था कि बाकी जो तमाम आमादी पार्टी के leader हैं उनके साथ वो अरविंद केजरीवाल को confront करेंगे लेकिन ये witness manipulation का जो charge है उसके बारे में details दीजिए। हाँ देखिए इसके बारे में जो ईडी है उसका कहना ये है कि अभी फिलहाल जो इन्वेस्टिगेशन है वो ऑनगोइंग है और ऐसे में बीच में कमेंट करना ठीक नहीं होगा आम आदमी पार्टी के अपने एलिगेशन हैं लेकिन ऑनगोइंग इन्वेस्टिगेशन में किसी विटनेस के बारे में जो बातें करना वो ठीक नहीं है ये ट्रायल के दौरान तय होगा कि जो विटनेस हैं उनकी गवाही कितनी सही है कितनी गलत है ये कोर्ट ट्रायल के दौरान तय करेगा दूसरा इस मामले में जो कैलाश गहलोत जो कि दिल्ली सरकार में ट्रांसपोर्ट मिनिस्टर हैं और आम आदमी पार्टी के बड़े नेता हैं उनको आज ईडी ने पूछताछ के लिए बुलाया है और ये पहला मौका है जब उनसे पूछताछ हो रही है दरअसल जब शराब पॉलिसी बनी थी यानी लिकर पॉलिसी जब बनी थी तो लिकर पॉलिसी को बनाने में जो जीओ यानी जो ग्रुप ऑफ मिनिस्टर्स था उसमें कैलाश गहलोत भी शामिल थे और उनकी जानकारी में ये शराब पॉलिसी बनी थी दूसरी बात यह है कि जो विजय नायर जो की आम आदमी पार्टी की कम्युनिकेशन विंग का हेड था और इस पूरे घोटाले में मुख्य आरोपी उसे गिरफ्तार किया गया था उस पर उसके बारे में जो ईडी के अधिकारी हैं उन्होंने अपनी चार्जशीट में लिखा था कि जो विजय नायर जो कि शराब पॉलिसी बनाने में मुख्य आरोपी है वो कैलाश गहलोत के सरकारी बंगले में रह रहा था और वहां से रहकर पूरी डीलिंग कर रहा था अरविंद केजरीवाल के दफ्तर में लगातार वो जाता था और दोनों के बीच में वो कड़ी था तो शराब पॉलिसी में सबसे अहम भूमिका निभाने वाले विजय नायर के बारे में यही कहा जा रहा है कि वो कैलाश गहलोत के यहाँ रह रहा था दूसरा जो ग्रुप ऑफ मिनिस्टर था जिसने ड्राफ्ट पॉलिसी बनाई थी और उस ग्रुप में कैलाश गहलोत भी शामिल थे इसीलिए उनसे जो ईडी है पूछताछ कर रही है और पहला मौका है जब उनसे पूछताछ की जा रही है खास बात यह है कि दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री अरविंद केजरीवाल भी अभी ईडी कस्टडी में हैं तो क्या अरविंद केजरीवाल के सामने बिठाकर कैलाश गहलोत से पूछताछ होगी ये भी पॉसिबल है फिलहाल कैलाश गहलोत सुबह ग्यारह बजे यहाँ पहुंच गए थे और अब भी उनसे लगातार पूछताछ चल रही है
जी मुकेश और ये बात भी बताएं देखिए ईडी ने कोर्ट में एक और जरूरी बात ही कही थी कि उनके पास ठोस सबूत है ये साबित करने के लिए कि अरविंद केजरीवाल ने 100 करोड़ रुपए एज किक बैग्स लिए तो इस पर अब अब इन्वेस्टिगेशन किस तरीके से आगे बढ़ी उन्होंने ये भी बोला था कि कुछ डिजिटल डेटा भी उन्होंने एक्सकेवेट किया है तो अभी क्या किस तरीके से कार्रवाई चल रही है ईडी की क्योंकि अब चार दिन की कस्टडी भी खत्म होने वाली है देखिए इसमें दो चीजें हैं पहला तो जो डिजिटल डेटा है वो तो ईडी के पास है ही उसमें जो जो चीजें निकल कर आ रही हैं उसके बेसिस पर उसको सामने रखकर अरविंद केजरीवाल से पूछताछ हो रही है दूसरा जो पैसा गया है आम आदमी पार्टी को करीब 100 करोड़ रुपए गया है जिसमें 45 करोड़ रुपए गोवा के चुनाव में इस्तेमाल हुआ ईडी ने गोवा के कई आम आदमी पार्टी के नेताओं को समन जारी किया था उनसे पूछताछ की है उनका बयान जो है वो पीएमएलए के तहत दर्ज किया है जिस हवाला ऑपरेटर के थ्रू ये पैसा गया था उसके स्टेटमेंट रिकॉर्ड हुए हैं पैसा किसके थ्रू आया था साउथ की लेकर लॉबी से उन सभी के स्टेटमेंट रिकॉर्ड हुए हैं जिसमें तीन लोग काफी अहम हैं पी शरद रेड्डी दिनेश अरोड़ा और साथ में राघव मगुंता ये तीनों सरकारी गवाह बन गए हैं जो पहले आरोपी थे तो इनके स्टेटमेंट काफी इंपॉर्टेंट हैं और ईडी ने पूरी मनी ट्रेल को स्टेब्लिश करने के लिए तमाम तरह के जो एविडेंस वो कलेक्ट किए हैं जिसमें डिजिटल एविडेंस है लोगों के बीच में क्या क्या बातें हुई हैं क्या चैट्स हैं क्या मैसेज हैं क्या कॉल डिटेल हैं ये सारे काफी इंपोर्टेंट एविडेंस हैं जिसके बेसिस पर ईडी अपनी कार्रवाई कर रही है और जब चार्जशीट पेश होगी इस मामले में खासतौर से अरविंद केजरीवाल को लेकर तब ये बातें और ज्यादा सामने आएंगी मुकेश बहुत शुक्रिया तमाम जानकारी के लिए सर मुकेश इज रिपोर्टिंग दैट द इन्फोर्समेंट डायरेक्टरेट कंटिन्यूंग इट्स इन्वेस्टिगेशन एंड एज पार्ट ऑफ द इन्वेस्टिगेशन टॉप डेली मिनिस्टर होम मिनिस्टर ऑफ द नेशनल कैपिटल हैज नाउ बीन समंड बाय द एजेंसी दिस रिमेंस अ टॉप फोकस ऑन एनडी टीवी वी विल टेक अ शॉर्ट ब्रेक नाउ न्यूज़ कंटिन्यूज ऑन द अदर साइड हेलो मोटो Motorola, India's best 5G smartphone brand. BRS leader KT Rama Rao booked KTR lying about the Congress. Uh, Chief Minister says a Congress worker in a complaint, a case of derogatory remarks against KTR. The Congress party gets twin notices overnight from the enforcement from the income tax DK Shiv Kumar says he got an IT notice on a settled matter Congress protests against the IT notices in the national capital Ex Home Minister Shivraj Patil's daughter joins the BJP in Maharashtra India awards its greats president confers a Bharat Ratna LK Advani Karpuri Thakur MS Swaminathan among the awardees This show isn't just about news from the southern states. It's one that looks at the rest of India and the world from a diverse South India point of view because NDTV has always taken the southern view seriously. The Southern View with Veera Raga only on NDTV 24/7. So friends next i have is this uh, shiny new device coming straight from the realme factory this is the all new realme narzo 70 pro 5g aur main shiny kyon bol raha hu because see of course it's shiny matlab the way it looks even the frame is very shiny at the same time this phone's really shines bright jab hum iske features ko dekhte hain because yahan bhi kafi interesting cheez realme has packed what we have is a sony amx 890 sensor ke sath aane wala 50 megapixel वाला प्राइमरी कैमरा दैट हैज ओ आई एस एट द सेम टाइम इन साइड द फोन इज रियली पैक विद फीचर्स इन फैक्ट हम यहां पे अभी इस फोन में जेस्चर्स से इसको कंट्रोल कर सकते हैं बिकॉज दिस हैज गॉट समथिंग दैट रियल बी कॉल्स एयर जेस्चर्स सो अगर आप देखो इसको एंड हैव अ क्लोजर लुक अबाउट हाउ दिस रियल मी नार्जो सेवेंटी प्रो रियली इज आई वुड से वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग मिड रेंज स्मार्टफोन कमिंग स्ट्रेट फ्रॉम रियल मी फाइनली द वेट इज ओवर रियल मी इज लेटेस्ट हॉट शॉट नार्जो सेवेंटी प्रो फाइव जी फाइनली इंडिया में लॉन्च हो गया है दिस फोन इज पैक विद अमेजिंग फीचर्स दैट विल मेक यू को वाओ इस फोन में है एक रेन वॉटर 
smart touch feature. This means no more tensions about phone usage in a light drizzle. The powerful MediaTek Dimensity chipset lets you game, multitask and do everything else at lightning speed. The 5000 mAh battery and SuperBook fast charging will get you back in action in no time. The phone's horizon glass design gives it a super premium head-turning look. Realme has kept it affordable. Narzo 70 Pro 5G starts at just Rs 18,999. You can grab it in stylish glass green and glass gold colors from March 22nd on Amazon and the Realme website. With its awesome display, camera and overall performance, the Realme Narzo 70 Pro 5G is a total Pesa Vasool deal. If you're looking for a smartphone that's powerful, stylish and affordable, this is it. IPL का हल्ला बल्ला और सबसे शानदार कवरेज सिर्फ एनडी टीवी पर Too much talking but very little being said. Too many voices but hardly any being heard. You turn to a show that puts you front. Hello and welcome to NDTV Auto. What I have with me today is real special. It is the latest EV from Audi Q6. What's special about it is it's based on a completely new... Hello and welcome to NDTV. Deepak Sharma, an executive committee member of the All India Football Federation, physically assaulted them in a hotel room during the ongoing Indian Women's League in Goa. Palak Varma, one of the footballers, while speaking to NDTV, said that Deepak Sharma had harassed her while she was boiling eggs for dinner. He followed her to her room where he assaulted her. This comes after the horrific uh, WFI allegations that had surfaced earlier last year. The Football Federation is yet to act. Take a look. Goa police has taken notice of the incident based on the complaint of Goa Football Federation and I must, must emphasize the fact that All India Football Federation under whom this tournament is happening in Goa have not swung into action. The allegations are quite grave. These two women footballers uh, in, in question, they have said that Deepak Sharma who is uh, an executive member of All India Football Federation, uh, an executive member of the Himachal Pradesh Football Association, traveling with the uh, women's football team to Goa for IWL or Indian Women's League 2, this is Division 2, to Goa, was in drunken state and he thrashed these two footballers. मुझे बैक मेरी इंजरी है मुझे बैक पेन था तो मैंने खाना नहीं खाया था उस रीजन से तो रात में मैंने अपने टीममेट को बोल करके अंडे ऑलरेडी बुलवा करके रखे थे कि अगर मुझे भूख लगेगी तो मैं अंडे खा लूँगी रात को तो तो मुझे रात में साढ़े दस ग्यारह बज बज रहे थे मैंने अंडे बॉईल करने के एक लड़की मेरे साथ और किचन में थी सर ने उसको रूम में बुलाया उसके बाद मैं रूम में थी मैं अंडे रख करके रूम के अंदर आ गई थी और मेरी जो टीममेट थी वो किचन में थी उसको सर ने रूम में बुलाया और उसको पूछा कि क्या कर रहे हो इतनी रात में फिर उसने बोला सर उसने खाना नहीं खाया तो वो अंडे बॉईल कर दिया तो सर ने उसको डांट करके अंदर रूम में भेज दिया वो रूम में आई और सर ने फिर मुझे आवाज दी बाहर से ला करके कि पलक बारह मैं बाहर गई मैंने बोला यस सर बोला तू ये क्या कर रही थी आज तो मैंने बोला सर मैंने खाना नहीं खाया तो मैं एक बॉईल कर दियो तो उन्होंने बोला कि ठेक के सारे अंडे तू कहीं से स्पेशल है कोई कहाँ से आई हुई है तेरे पास ज़्यादा पैसा है ये वो मैंने बोला नहीं सर मैंने खाना नहीं खाया मैं इसीलिए अंडे बॉईल करी हूँ क्योंकि खाना खत्म हो गया तो बोला थे कि सारे अंडे उठा कर तो बहुत जोर-जोर से चलाते हैं एंड ही बोल ड्रंक डेड टाइम एंड आप पर हाथ उठाया उन्होंने 
और फिर मैं रोने लगी किचन में मैंने बर्तन साफ किया बॉईल करने वाला और मैं रूम में आके रोने लगी तो मैंने जब मैं रूम में अंदर आई तो मैंने गेट गुस्से में जोर से बंद किया मैं रो रही थी किसी तो मैं रूम में आकर के रोने लगी और सर बाहर से जब मैंने गेट जोर से लगाया तो सर भाग कर अंदर आए और उस टाइम पे मेरे रूम में जो थी रात के ग्यारह बज रहे थे उस टाइम और मेरी रूम में विदाउट टी शर्ट थी शी वॉज टॉपलेस दैट टाइम और सर डायरेक्टली विदाउट नॉक के रूम के अंदर आए और सीधे उन्होंने अंदर आके मेरे ऊपर हाथ उठाया मॉर्निंग आई गोट अ कॉल फ्रॉम द मैच कमिश्नर that two two girls uh, had come to see him in his hotel, which was about two kilometers from where they were staying, and they were mentally uh, stressed and uh, they had, they had filed a complaint about a physical assault. So I immediately went to his uh, room around uh, 12 o'clock. Uh, I saw the complaint. Uh, as soon as that happened, uh, I told the GFA general secretary. and uh, the match commissioner to go and meet the uh, girls in their room and take a statement from the girls and the uh, mr deepak sharma and his wife and the other officials who were there with the uh, with the team uh, so they have filed their report and uh, they have forwarded to the AI, all india football federation uh, as you know that in iff there is an internal complaints uh, committee and there is also two judicial body that is the disciplinary committee and the ethics committee so these uh, complaints will be forwarded to the iff uh, for necessary action an absolutely horrific case there uh, surfacing in the world of football uh, that's all the time that we have on the show but we leave you with these pictures of the bharat ratna being conferred by the president in the rashtrapati bhavan of course pv narsimha rao also choudhary charan singh were conferred with the bharat ratna uh, also karpuri thakur Uh, is among the awardees uh, the bharat ratna uh, to uh, former deputy prime minister lk advani will be conferred at his residence also uh, famous agriculturist uh, ms swaminathan was also conferred the bharat ratna posthumously his daughter collected the award Hello Moto Motorola India's best 5G smartphone brand ट्रैकिंग की बात से इनफैक्ट याद आया गया डिड यू नो कि आप अब ट्रैक कर सकते हैं अबाउट योर कंट्रीब्यूशन टूवर्ड्स एन हेल्थियर एनवायरनमेंट बिकॉज अगर आप ऊबर यूज करते हैं तो आई एम श्योर आपको अभी पता होगा कि उसमें दिस एन ऑप्शन कि आप इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स को बुक कर सकते हैं इफ यू प्रेफर गोइंग सस्टेनेबल लेकिन अब यहाँ पे एक ऑप्शन आ गया है जहाँ पे आपको ऊबर दिखाता है कि आप क्या सेव कर रहे हैं कंपेयर टू अगर आप एक नॉर्मल व्हीकल में जाते हैं तो आप कितने कार्बन एमिशंस होने से रोक रहे हैं और वो आपको दिखाता है इन फॉर्म ऑफ ट्रीज बीइंग प्लांटेड तो कहीं ना कहीं ये एक अच्छी चीज है जहाँ पे यू कैन कीप ट्रैक ऑफ योर यू नो योर कंट्रीब्यूशन कि आप अपने डेली हैबिट्स में जब आप सुबह ऑफिस के लिए ऊबर ले रहे हैं जब आप शामों के बाहर जा रहे हैं अगर आप एक ई यूज करते हैं सो हाउ मच एसेंशली आर यू कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग टूवर्ड्स द एनवायरमेंट दिस सर्विस is live now in multiple indian cities so next time you book an uber i would request ki agar aap ek electric vehicle use karte hain it will uh, kind of contribute towards the environment or you can clearly track in form of number of trees being planted so i'm sure normally we friends sometimes we see each other's uber ratings ki kisko kitne star mile hain kisi ki kitni rating hai so i'm sure going next this could be a thing that we all might ट्रैक कि अच्छा मैंने कितने ट्रीज को प्लांट किया बाई गोइंग इलेक्ट्रिक या कौन आगे जीत रहा है इट्स अ नाइस थिंग डिड यू नो दिस इफ येस अमेजिंग इफ नो प्लीज लेट मी नो यू नो द एड्रेस इट्स टी जी एट द रेट एनडी टीवी डॉट कॉम
Hello and welcome. Let's take a look at the top stories. Our lead story, some uh, Lok Sabha poll stories from the northeast. But among all states, it's in Meghale, where it's a multi-cornered fight for both the Lok Sabha seats. There are 10 candidates in the fray and a lot is at stake for multiple political parties. The BJP has backed out of the contest to keep the NDA votes undivided. Its key ally, Conrad Sangma's NPP, has fielded women candidates for both the seats. It has a task cut out for itself. Fifty-eight years old, Mazal Ampering Lingdo, once a Congress heavyweight in Meghalaya, is now a minister in the Kaunder Sangma's government and the NPP candidate for the prestigious Shillong Lok Sabha seat. The BJP is supporting Ms. Lingdo, but the seat is with the Congress for three decades. Despite NDA's big victory in 2014 and 2019, and the Congress being out of power in the state for the past six years, the party has managed to hold on to its Shillong bastion. Thank you. Three-time Shillong MP, former Union Minister Vincent Pala is the last of Congress heavyweights in the Northeast. There is no anti-incumbency for the NPP as far as MP is concerned. However, we as a political party are now way ahead in our service to the people. Today the people knows, they have been exposed that every vote to NPP is a vote to BJP. I think I'm the only MP, I'm the only politicians now so far have not been shaken by the BJP. Other MPs you see, be it in, in Arunachal, be it in Assam, be it, many of them have gone away. Why? Because they have been uh, lewd or they have been treated. Over 300 kilometers away from Shillong, <laughs> in the state's Garo Hills region, the home turf of Chief Minister Conrad Sangma, his party has fielded another woman. Conrad's sister, and former Union Minister Agatha Sangma from the Tura constituency. Agatha is the sitting MP and Tura is prestige battle for the Sangmas. The seat has been with the family since the mid-70s. The two women candidates of NPP, Kwashi Long and Tura, are asking for votes in the name of the Modi Sangma double engine. This election is more about continuing on the path of development and uh, I feel that because NPP has given such a, uh, in these six years, wonderful performance in its governance, it's a sign that uh, the team and uh, you know the entire NPP is something that is accepted by the people. The contest for the two Lok Sabha seats in Christian nominated Meghalaya is not a straightforward NDA versus India block fight. There are six candidates for the Shillong seat and four for the Tura seat and regional players who have emerged as kingmakers in state polls have this time pitched in for the Lok Sabha polls as well. Outside Bengal, the TMT feels it has a small chance in Meghalaya's Tura, where former minister Dennis Sangma has been fielded. TMT heavyweight and former oh, chief minister Mukul Sangma is campaigning hard for his younger brother attacking NPP and Agatha Sangma for supporting CAA. She, while campaigning, gave the assurance that she would uh, object and uh, object the passing of CAB, the people of the region, the people of the state of Meghalaya, and uh, this part of the state has been betrayed. The multi-corner fight in the two seats of Meghalaya might turn crucial in NDA's pursuit to win more seats from the Northeast. Pratandeep Chaudhary for NDTV. In other news now, after multiple income tax notices, Congress leader Rahul Gandhi held that the party will take exemplary action against those who have destroyed democracy when the government changes after the party received uh, 1,800 crore rupee notice by the income tax and the party called it tax terrorism. BJP, which is engaged in tax terrorism. Tax terrorism. That's what the Congress party termed the latest. Rupees 1,700 crore tax demand notice 
sent by the income tax department to the grand old party. The income tax department has sent these notices after reassessment of the income tax returns filed by the Congress during the four years between 2017-18 and 2020-21. अगर ये institutions अपना काम करते, अगर CBI अपना काम करती, ED अपना काम करती, तो ये नहीं होता. तो उनको ये भी सोचना चाहिए, ये वो सब कर रहे हैं कि किसी ना किसी दिन BJP की सरकार बदलेगी और फिर कार्रवाई होगी. और ऐसी कार्रवाई होगी कि मैं गारंटी कर रहा हूं ये फिर से कभी नहीं होगा तो उनको भी सोचना चाहिए सीताराम केसरी जी के जमाने के 53 करोड़ का डिमांड कांग्रेस का 1993-94 का कांग्रेस को आया और टोटल पिछले इसी तरीके से उन लोगों ने पांच सालों का दिया है तीन सालों का और वो बना रहे हैं टोटल अठारह करोड़ की डिमांड कांग्रेस पार्टी से करी गई है 1823 करोड़ का डिमांड इनकम टैक्स ने कांग्रेस पार्टी से किया तो आप ये सोचिए कि एक तरफ बीजेपी की जो वायलेशन है उसको आंख बंद कर रहे हैं और हमारे हिसाब से वो अगर वायलेशन वही बात बीजेपी पे लगाया जाए तो 4600 थाउजेंड का बनता है हम इसको कानून द कांग्रेस पार्टी इज नाउ प्रिपेयरिंग टू चैलेंज द टैक्स डिमांड नोटिस ऑफ द इनकम टैक्स डिपार्टमेंट इन कोर्ट कांग्रेस इज नाउ प्लानिंग टू फाइट अ लीगल बैटल इन सुप्रीम कोर्ट or on this income tax demand uh, notices that has been served uh, to the congress organization uh, in fact ajay makan who is the treasurer of the congress party has very categorically said uh, that early next week congress party will move the supreme court to seek legal relief congress party on the other hand the bjp has termed these allegations of the congress as baseless and has said that the income tax department's demand notice issued to the congress party is based on facts ये तो बड़ी हंसी की बात है हम जो कानून बनाएंगे एक सांसद के रूप में तो हमको भी तो उसका पालन करना पड़ेगा अगर कांग्रेस ने कुछ मांग किया और उसके तहत बात हट रही है रिसर्च हो रहा है जानकारी ली जा रही है पूछताछ हो रही है तो कांग्रेस को परेशानी क्यों है कांग्रेस ये क्यों सोचती है कि सबके लिए कानून हो हमारे लिए तो बस राजा की तरह छोड़ दो ये देश बाबा साहब भीमराव अम्बेडकर जी के लिखे संविधान से चलता है और यहाँ सबके साथ एक समान कानून है जो जैसा करेगा वैसा भरेगा फॉर असेसमेंट एवरी ईयर यू है रिटर्न नो वन इज इम्यून फ्रॉम इट नॉट एनी मेंबर ऑफ एनी पार्टी और द पार्टी इट सेल्फ इंडिया मेन ऑपोजिशन पार्टी हैज क्लेम्ड दैट दीज टैक्स नोटिस आर इन अटेम्प्ट टू फाइनेंशियली क्रिपल दम जस्ट बिफोर द लोकसभा इलेक्शन एंड आर इन अटैक ऑन डेमोक्रेसी ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट एन डी टीवी